The horrific tragedy in Paris has brought to light the enormous challenge that we have in defeating the Islamic terrorist ISIS. ISIS has been able to expand dramatically as a result, frankly, of the president's precipitous withdrawal from Iraq where they have been able to develop and build their caliphate, which is essentially a governing state, and be able to equip and train forces in that caliphate as well as into Syria. Thousands of individuals have gone to Syria to train, and many from Europe and some from the United States. Those trained uh, warriors now have come, many of them, uh, through the refugees back in uh, to Europe. They have already identified at least one of these refugees uh, who is a Syrian fighter in ISIS. So we are wary now of the President's plan to bring uh, 10,000 refugees to our shores and to our country unvetted, uh, unrestricted. The Congress is going to step in. I am participating as a sponsor of a major bill with Chairman McCall, head of Homeland Security, that would put restrictions on those who could come into our country. We'll get the Government Accountability Office involved in reviewing and evaluating what requirements are there for vetting to bring someone back into America. We need to have full control. Our governors, fortunately, are speaking out on this, Democrat and Republican. I have signed a letter to support Governor McCrory with the rest of my Republican colleagues in North Carolina to ensure that no one comes into our state without a full vetting process to know exactly who they are. We have great sympathy, particularly for those of religious minorities, Christians and others who are there, and they're caught in this crisis. But we want to be able to try to identify some of these people with their, with their family members back here in the United States. This will take time, but we need to do this because we cannot allow those to come in our country under the auspices of being a refugee and really they're a terrorist fighter. As well, I'm co-sponsor with Congressman Whitman uh, of a bill that we both introduced several months ago that would restrict travel to an Islamic nation state. Uh, a state that is committed to our destruction, Syria being one of them, Iran another, North Korea another, that would prohibit travel to any of those states without uh, full approval and a license by the federal government. This would allow people who are working with nonprofit humanitarian organizations to go. It would allow for family members to go visit, but it would require, again, a full vetting process for those who want to leave this country and want to go to Syria. These are all major concerns. Uh, we have in our country today uh, sleeper cells of individuals, and they're in every state. It's a huge challenge for our FBI to track these individuals, as well as those who have been trained in Syria, Europeans and Americans, who have passports who can come back into our country. So we are committed uh, to make sure that we do everything possible to protect our homeland. They have already declared that Washington particularly is their next target. We must take them seriously in every way, but we need to realize that America is their ultimate target all over America. That's why one thing that I've done is work with some experts in developing a manual. It's called preparenow.com. This manual will help families and small businesses prepare themselves in the eventuality of a terrorist attack. Uh, whether it's chemical or biological or uh, some other type of uh, physical attack. Uh, we need to be prepared. We need to know the kinds of things that we can have in our homes to make sure that uh, we have enough uh, capacities there to, to take care of our families. So go to preparenow.com and look at those resources that are available to you and also some important ideas that you need to do to protect your families. Please contact our office in Charlotte or in Mooresville, or in Washington, D.C., in any way that we can help you. Uh, we are here to respond and make sure that we do everything we can to protect the United States of America. Thank you, and God bless you.